All right, so today we're going to talk about lifetime value in Google Analytics. So see, the lifetime value report is actually one of the ones that I use the least because I can get that information elsewhere from my websites. Um, but it, what it really tells you is that during a 90 day period, how many uh, purchases did or uh, goal completions or um, let's see what other they have here. They have the lifetime value tab lives here under audiences, audience lifetime value and you can actually have a look at uh, the lifetime value of your visitors I haven't set up a revenue because I don't have a revenue yet on this website uh, it's this one where I run these tutorials uh, that I'm just now building up to actually start pulling some traffic uh, I can have a look at page views per user here uh, but as you see it doesn't change over time because most of the traffic that I have they only come once to the website so I know by looking at this that I first of all have to work on the stickiness of my website I'm not really there yet people don't really understand why they should come back they don't understand why they should, should subscribe and I actually haven't activated my my email send list yet so uh, that will come over time time but this is a good you know base uh, to have a look at uh, for those purposes looking at the lifetime value uh, of of, uh, of my visitors um, and it is you know it's a way to to check whether or not you uh, can afford more uh, expensive advertising uh, than uh, not and why I say that is because if let's say a, per, per, if a person just signs up to your newsletter on their first visit but then once they've done that they start buying more and more and more and more and more several times per month then you know even though the first visit that uh, you paid maybe a lot of money for rendered zero income the lifetime value of that user that you convert then via email several times uh, is worth a lot more so it might still be a profitable source of traffic and so um, that's the only way i use this report i really don't like this report um, it only gives me 90 days uh, unless i am an e-commerce website or unless i am a a loyalty business uh, like uh, e-commerce where you have more than one uh, more than two purchases per month then you know it it uh, it won't make much sense let's say I'm a business to business um, lifetime value might be great however um, it doesn't register because maybe they are only there twice a month so I, I rarely use this report there are ways in which you can use it even though you're a, like a seldom purchase or transactional business uh, for example if you you work a lot with content marketing then there is um, uh, page views per user uh, thingy here that you can have a look at if you want people to consume more and more content on your website over time so if you acquire them as a subscriber and then over time you want them to consume more and more uh, content like whenever you publish if you publish twice a month you want them to return twice a month for example um, and then you can determine the quality of your content and the stickiness of your content by looking at whether or not your visitors uh, return more than once per month or you know as often as you publish but there are better ways to look at that especially if you work with subscriber lists you can look at open rates for emails click-through rates uh, you can look at engagement rates on the on the landing page you know all of that so that's much better than than using this report so but I still wanted to go through it uh, because it exists and if you have let's say an e-commerce website then this will give you a bit of an overview as to whether or not uh, people are returning to your website to make more purchases than one so that's the value of this report